Indian markets have enjoyed consistent strength the last few days. So today is a bit of an anomaly, but maybe a much necessary uh, kind of a pullback because market shouldn't be up almost every single day. Do the banks let the corrective move? No doubt. But if you just look at the market wide behavior, uh, declines are more than advances, and the Sensex and the Nifty down over half a percent. Now, key amongst this was that the two heavyweights, HDFC and HDFC Bank, they went ex dividend as a result of which they were trading lower. Uh, but aside of that, a bunch of other stocks in the heavyweight segment or a heavyweight category, if you will, Reliance Industry was down in the session today. There was weakness in Kotak Bank, there was weakness in Maruti yet again. Uh, Mahindra and Mahindra was looking weak. So a bunch of stocks that went down today, not too many gainers again. That was the other point. Even at the broader end of the spectrum, yes, you had a bunch of gainers, but the losers stood out. Zensa Tech was up 12-13% yesterday. That stock was down 8% today. So it's a bit of a yo-yo that that stock is playing. Uh, the Adani Group stocks, Total Gas and some of the others uh, looked weak in the session yet again. There was weakness in JM Financial. There was a results reaction seen in Asai India Glass and a few others. So that combination of news flow plus the general market weakness weighed in on a bunch of stocks. But as is the norm, and not always loses some gainers as well. At the broader end of the spectrum, we had Vesuvius India reacting to results, Cook Show did well. Repro and Madhukela bought in some stake, and that stock was up 14% after being up 20% yesterday. Midani, Sonata Software, strong commentary from the company, and that stock too did well. So, net net, select bottom up moves, but on slightly lower volumes than usual, the markets look slightly weak. Let's see how the week ahead shapes up.